Hey guys, what's up? I'm JR. Welcome to More Fitness. In this video, I'm going to take you all through one of my push workouts. So, hopefully, y'all enjoy. What's going on again, guys? I'd like to welcome you all to the channel one more time. So, today, I'm doing a push workout. And my first workout is a flat bench press. And uh, this week, I'm going heavy. So, I wanted to do five sets of five reps. Um, so my first set ended up being with 225 for 5 and it ended up being a little bit too heavy for me so in the next set I think I went down a little bit but yeah during this uh, this cut of mine since I'm doing a competition in August I want to do some strength uh, training to try and maintain my strength and muscle size while also trying to reduce my body weight and right here is my roommate slash Broski Mike, he's an awesome gym partner, and that is one important thing I need to say about lifting, is that you need to find a gym partner who is fun to hang out with and motivates you while you're lifting, because those last cru uh, last reps can be crucial, and if you have a good gym partner there to cheer you on, like uh, we do for one another, it can help you finish out that set. So, and this clip right here. I ended up going down to 205 a little bit. Uh, uh, I think for this set or the next, I'm not sure. But um, I ended up doing this one a little bit better. I was able to uh, keep my form a little bit better. As you see, my wrists, they aren't bending back, which most people do when they do bench press, and that can damage your wrists. And you don't really get a good squeeze when you're benching if you do let your wrist fall back like that. Also, if you saw my arms weren't, my elbows weren't flared out, or they weren't too close to my body, you want to try and keep them in the middle. And for me, personally, I feel the best contractions in my chest when I keep them like midway. But normally, when you do bench press, I would try to say that you normally have to find the best positioning of your arms, your body, for you to be, get the best results. Also, I like to tuck my feet under, like, almost under my butt and arch my back while keeping my butt and my shoulder, sh shoulders on the bench. This allows you to stick your chest out a little bit more, and you'll be able to feel your bench press a little bit more in your chest. Also, when you lay down on the bench, it's good for you to try and... I want to say pinch your shoulders together uh, on the bench. That's why I like to throw my arms on the side of the bench like I just did a couple seconds ago because it helps me push my shoulders together. And again, it also helps with sticking your chest out, which will in turn help you build your chest a little bit more, if I can put it like that. So, right here, I'm doing four sets of 10 with uh, incline press. Uh, as you see, I like to do a little pause rep for about a second and go down a little bit further uh, with my elbows and it'll help stretch out the chest. Um, but I like to do this after I finish bench press to try and work the upper upper chest a little bit and normally when I hit my chest later I'll do I'll alternate I'll do incline bench press and I'll do f a flat press with dumbbells well, that was my last set so I was dying uh, this right here is um, cable crossovers um, with the cables coming from a lower angle normally most gyms they have uh, cables which you can control the height but at this gym you either have it at the top or bottom and here you want to try and scoop your hands up and it'll help you contract your chest a little bit more since your pectorals are used for bringing your arms together and this I did for five sets of 15 and I think I was using 30 pounds on each arm and after that my chest was burning now those are three chest exercises that I do and after that I do four sets of 15 
for the shoulder press machine which I love because it doesn't put too much strain on my shoulders again I like to use dumbbells but the press machine can uh, can be good if if you don't really feel like using dumbbells which I didn't feel like using that night and after I do my shoulder press I like after the four set I didn't include the clip but I like to do shoulder raises holding 25 pound um, weight and I do that for about 10 to 15 reps and then after that I move on to lateral raises which are uh, four sets of four sets of 15 and when you do this you sort of want to angle your forearm to where your wrist is a little is slightly below your elbow and you'll be able to feel it in your shoulders a little bit more and also keep your back straight here uh, Mike and I moved on to tries and uh, we did these for maybe four sets four yeah four sets of 15 and <clears throat> uh, as I'm watching this I'm noticing Mike's doing a little bit wrong in my opinion I don't think you should rock your arms like he's doing because it can it can be cheating, <laughs> posing for the camera, but it can, it can be cheating a little bit. So, I like to keep my arms straight as long as possible, and normally, I tend to rock my arms a little bit more at the end of my sets because my triceps are fatigued. So, in order to finish out the set, I try to. Uh, uh, rock him a little bit <laughs> and there's Mike uh, paying homage to the gains which were which were achieved and uh, but yeah I like to do high volumes on biceps and triceps and I feel like it you you get more out of it when you do high volume for those muscle groups and um, after that uh, I only did. We only did two tricep exercises for the night since we did bench press and uh, shoulder press, which were good warm ups for the tries. And here we're doing tricep uh, push downs with the rope and with a sort of like a super set um, drop set of tricep push downs without flaring out the wrists. So I don't know if you saw it before, but in the first set, I flared my wrists out a little bit. And in this set, I dropped the weight a little bit. And I just kept my wrist straight uh, as much as I could. And I pulled down. And I did both of those for four sets. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my video. I appreciate all of you all for taking the time to watch it. Um, if you all liked it, don't forget to like the video, and if you all disliked it, then please leave a comment and let me know how I can improve on myself and make my videos better. Alright guys, stay strong in that. Peace.